Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Science Sign Discussion. Kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking the button above this video. Thank you so much. Our presentation will be the introduction of science under that are the definition of science, scientific method, and lastly, I will be giving you a short activity just to check your previous knowledge about science, that is an, an identification activity. First, we will have the definition of science. Science is a branch of knowledge or study dealing with a body of facts or truth systematically arranged based from the observation, identification, description, experimental investigation, and theoretical explanation of the natural phenomena. Another definition is also a systematic enterprise that builds and organizes knowledge in the form of explanations and predictions about nature and the universe. Another one, the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. And finally, a systematic body of knowledge accumulated through the discoveries about all the things in the universe. As what you see, there is one word there which is repeatedly used in every definition. And the root word is system. Systematically. There is also systematic there. And the last one, systematic. Why is it that science is defined as a system? The process is a system. Why systematic? The scientist uses statistical tools of collecting data by various methods and forming principles on the basis of data collected. Why is it that the process is systematic? Because it is a process broken up into clear steps that lead to a certain conclusions. Systematic defined as done or acting according to a fixed plan or system. Methodical and use the adjective systematic to describe things that are orderly and efficient. So what are the different steps of science or the scientists used to make everything in order? Scientific method. So the science uses the, the steps called scientific method. And what are those steps? What are those different steps? The first one is observe. Observation. Let's build some intuition for the scientific method by applying its steps to a practical problem for everyday life. By using the different steps in this method, we will try to solve a certain simple problem. For example, failure to toast. Okay, first, observe. Make observations. Let's suppose that you get two slices of bread, put them into the toaster, and press the button. However, your bread does not toast. Okay, next, we will ask question or identify the problem. Why didn't my bread get toasted? So that is your problem. That is the question. Next step, do the research. Search for existing answers or solution with that certain problem. Research is a planned structure or method used to reach the conclusion. The search for this information is referred to as the research process. You will research in a certain situation why it comes up in that condition that the toaster malfunctioned. The purpose of research is really 
an ongoing process of correcting and refining hypotheses which should lead to the acceptance of a certain scientific th truth. So now, after researching, you will proceed to hypothesize, formulate a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a potential answer to the question. An educated guess, you will be guessing what is the cause of that problem? One that could somehow be tested. For example, our hypothesis in this case case could be that the toaster didn't toast because the electrical outlet is broken. So that is your hypothesis. Electrical outlet is broken. You can have one or more hypotheses. Next, let us proceed to the experiment. You will make your prediction. Your prediction is that electrical outlet is broken. Now, you will proceed to your experiment. It is the outcome we expect to see if the hypothesis is correct. In case, we might predict that if the electrical outlet is broken, then plugging the toaster into a different outlet should fix the problem so that is your experiment now you have to test your prediction or test your hypothesis it's either accepted or rejected after plugging to test the hypothesis we need to make an observation or perform an experiment associated with a prediction. For instance, in this case, we would plug the toaster into a different outlet and see if it is toast. If the toaster does not toast, so we are here now testing the hypothesis, accept or reject your hypothesis. If the toaster does toast, then the hypothesis is supported likely correct the hypothesis is accepted if the toaster does not toast then the hypothesis is not supported so you will go back in the fourth step you will formulate another hypothesis if you have one or more hypotheses you can do the experiment the testing of the hypothesis following what are those hypotheses next if it is wrong then that will be rejected and you will start here again until you will come up to a certain correct answer if you have already your correct hypothesis so you will proceed you will continue here draw conclusions make conclusions based on your hypothesis therefore i conclude that the uh, oven toaster malfunction because the electrical outlet is broken and last one you will share your report so you will make a, f a report regarding the problem so that is the step that is the method scientific method those are the different steps that you are going to do following the scientific method in solving a problem and now we are at the last part of our review presentation again this presentation is applicable to all levels since this is just an introduction about science you can use it as a part of your review my dear students i have here science related pictures i will check your memory how far you could remember or how can you describe the following pictures from your previous knowledge in science so let's start i will give you a minute to think of your answers look at the pictures try to give the names of these pictures after naming describe how these things related to science do you know which branch of science it belongs 
kindly make a quick self evaluation i will give you few minutes or two minutes only before you we will proceed to the next slide okay come to think of it so which of those pictures you know well from your previous levels the first one the first picture there that is an instrument he's in laboratories the color maroon there is part of our body okay time is up so let us proceed now to the answers kindly check yourself if you got the correct answers First one is a microscope. A microscope is an instrument used to see objects that are too small to be seen by the naked eye. First, the purpose of a microscope is to magnify a small object or to magnify the fine details of a larger object in order to examine two small specimens that cannot be seen by the naked eye. Usually, this instrument is used in biology, laboratory, laboratory experiments in biology. But some of the branches of science uses this one, but usually biolo the biologists are using the microscope. Okay, next, incandescent light bulb. The operating principle behind the light bulb is very simple. You run an electric current through a thin filament which causes it to get hot. Hot objects emit light, so the bulb glows. The further discussion of this will be in physics. Okay, next one. Continental, continental drift theory. The pictures there is the content are the continents. Remember, if you if you uh, hear the word Pangaea, so that is the supercontinent. Long time ago, but because of the content, the drifting of the continents, there is a theory that explained how continents shift position on Earth's surface, and that is continental drift theory. Continental drift is the hypothesis that the Earth's continents have moved over geologic time relative to each other, thus appearing to have drifted across the ocean bed. And this, the, the full discussion of this theory will be in earth science. Another one. Chemicals. A compound or substance that has been purified or prepared specially artificially. Chemical is a substance that is produced or used in a process reaction involving changes to atoms or molecules it will be discussed in your chemistry subject next one is the brain the brain is one of the largest and the most complex organs in the human body and uh, brain is part of our nervous system and the brain is divided into main uh, three main parts the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brain stem. This will be discussed in your biology. Okay, next one is bonding, chemical bonding. A chemical bond, this is a structure, this is the, it represents the structure of a chemical bond. A chemical bond is a lasting attraction between atoms ions or mo molecules that enables the formation 
of a chemical compound. There are two main types of chemical bonds that hold atoms together. Covalent and ionic bands. Atoms that share electrons in a chemical band have covalent is the covalent bonding. Have coval covalent bands. And the other type is ionic band result from the mutual attraction between opposite charged particles or ions. So, in this bond, there is a giving and accepting of ions, atoms. So, this will be discussed in your chemistry subject. And the other one, the last one, is planetary model of atom. Planetary model in which the negatively charged electrons orbit a small positively charged nucleus similar to the planets orbiting the sun. It was proposed by Niels Bohr on the year 1915. The full discussion of this planetary model of atom will be in your chemistry subject please do not forget to subscribe like and share my youtube channel which is science time discussion more learning videos are coming thank you so much